welcome to Old Fashioned Health Network. Good health inside and out. And today we have a special guest, Lindy Leak, which is a pop star in our own right. Uh, today's segment is on health and entertainment. Lindy, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. I'm excited to be here. And thank you for having you. You're all in the Christmas spirit. Uh, your new yes, Christmas sir. Year. I love Christmas. It's the greatest time of year. Okay. Now, did you write this Christmas song that, that I'm here? I did. I wrote an original Christmas song called Keep Me Warm. Okay. And I just released it on YouTube last week. So, did the video all Christmassy and whatnot. And it, it's it going nice. to nice. be on it's iTunes nice. soon. Now, where, where did you shoot this video? Was it here in, in Atlanta or where? Um, it was down in Peachtree City, actually. Okay. Yeah, they've got like this big tree at the avenue. So, I okay. shot there. Um, and then some of it was at my house, just in front of my fireplace. Okay. It was like the only part of my house that was decorated for Christmas, just <laughs> that one little section of the house. So we're like, okay, just keep the camera right here. It was really, really good. So you must have needed your whole camera production and you did that. Um, I had a guy named Stefan film it, so okay. it was just me and Stefan, and then I edited it. You did a great job. Thank you very much. We, we need some help over here. You did a great job. <laughs> well, thank you. So we're talking about health and entertainment. Tell me, what are your eating habits like? Do you, you eat a lot of bad foods? I heard pizza is your favorite. <laughs> okay, yeah, pizza definitely is my favorite, but I don't eat it all the time. Okay. Um, I do love junk food, but in moderation. I okay. try. I try to eat healthy. I like fish and chicken, and I have like these little protein chips that I eat all the time. Okay. okay. From Quest. Okay. Um, and I like the little protein bars and all that good stuff. So. Why not? Do you work out? You go to the gym. I do. I think it's a lot easier for me to work out than it is to eat healthy. Because <laughs> I, I enjoy like getting up and doing stuff, but then it's like, oh, that pizza. So wait a minute, you, you prefer to work out than to eat bad or eat healthy? Yeah. Most people don't like working out. I know, but see, once you start getting like in a habit of it, okay. it kind of becomes addicting. Like you just feel like you need to get up and do something. You don't think it has anything to do with you like music and you just working out? Doing Maybe it? that's what it is because music really does motivate me. Like okay. especially when I'm outside like running right. and whatnot. Okay, okay. So you're home here in Atlanta like, or in Peachtree City mm -hmm. and then your mother cooking all these big Thanksgiving dinners that I eat about, <laughs> but you travel a lot. You travel a lot with your family, right? I do. Wow. I travel okay. quite a bit. My dad's a pilot. Oh, okay. So it must be nice. You get a chance to eat everywhere, all over the country. It's, it's definitely nice. So <laughs> I can't, nice. I can't yeah. complain. Okay. All right. All right. So let me ask you, the younger generation now that's singing in, in the entertainment industry, like you said, what do you tell them about exercising and eating and trying to maintain a professional singing career? Um, I do think that it is important not just to look good and feel good about yourself, but just to keep up the stamina. Performing on stage is a lot of work actually, like being able to keep your breath and perform all throughout the show and keep an audience entertained and still like stay on pitch and hit all the notes. Like you have to have a lot of stamina to do that. So um, one of the things I've started doing is running and singing. Okay. Which is not very fun, but it definitely helps a lot with building that stamina and being able to keep your breath while you're performing. Okay, so but if you're not eating properly or, or eating the right foods, a lot of junk. Yeah, you, you still have to eat healthy too because that will mess up all of the work that you did. Like if you say, oh, well, I ran two miles, like I can I can go have this cookie. It's like, <laughs> no, that just undid all the work you did. Okay, okay. I'm not saying you can never have a cookie. Okay. I still eat cookies yeah. occasionally, but. So your favorite food is pizza, but you like sweets as well sometimes. I know, it's so bad. <laughs> I don't know it's how so you bad. Going. But everything in moderation. I mean, it's a lifestyle. You can't just not eat the things that you don't like for forever. Say like, oh, I'm never going to have pizza again. It's right. like, no, you have a cheat day, like maybe once a month. Okay. And you allow yourself to eat all of the good foods. And after that, you're like, okay, now I'm, I'm going to have yeah. salmon tomorrow. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, listen, we're going to take a break, and we'll come back. We're going to talk to Lindy about things she has planned for the holidays and the new music she has coming out and where you can download that and all that kind of thing. We'll be back. All right, we're back. We're back, and we're back with Lindy Link, the famous YouTube sensation. <laughs> 
Uh, you did something with YouTube back a couple of years ago, and they picked you as the number one subscriber, right? When I first created my YouTube channel, um, the first month that I was on YouTube, I was actually the first or the most subscribed musician of YouTube for that month. So that was very exciting. I know, right? So let me ask you, where, where are you originally from? Um, I was an Air Force baby, so I I don't I wouldn't say I'm originally from anywhere. Okay. I was born on the Air Force base in Arkansas, well, okay. and then we moved up to Minnesota. Okay. Big change there. Yeah. Uh, then we moved to Texas, which is where most of my family is. Okay. Um, and now we're in Atlanta, and I've been here for about ten years. You like it? I love Atlanta. Aww. I consider this my home, to be okay. honest. How old are you? I'm 20, 20? almost 21. You look so young. I get that a lot. It's the baby face. Everyone thinks I'm like 15. 15. Yeah, because <laughs> when I saw you, I was like, she's a little young. Yeah. yeah I mean, where That's what mother? people think. Yeah. They're like, so when do you graduate high school? I'm like, oh, right. oh like she three said, years ago. <laughs> what kind of car do you get? That little car, she, like, she <laughs> a little Toyota Corolla. Yeah, I was like, she's like, you're a little too young to be driving. <laughs> Is there anything in the future for like some acting? Or, I, I see you like to sing and dance and move around. You think about doing acting or something? Um, I have thought about it actually. I do enjoy acting. I think it kind of goes hand in hand with singing and performing because you're kind of a character, you know? Okay. So I enjoy all of entertainment. Tell me about the song Mirror Mirror, which is my favorite song. She has a song I call <laughs> Mirror you. Mirror. It's more like an inspirational song. It's kind of, it makes people feel good about themselves like myself when I'm feeling like <laughs> Tell me about Mirror Mirror, what is it about? Uh, Mirror Mirror I wrote a few years ago and it's all about self-confidence and when you look in the mirror just seeing someone beautiful because I mean everyone is beautiful in their own way so just seeing seeing the beauty rather than looking in the mirror and picking out all the things that you think are wrong with you. That's sweet. <laughs> That's really nice. That's nice. Thank you. Now in the Christmas scene we talked about earlier, you wrote that one. Just, I did. And was it I did. was it inspired by some other singer? Or? Um, you know, I just really love Christmas. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> it's my favorite time of year. I'll be singing Christmas songs in like July. Just like a random Christmas song will pop in my head. Don't give me that look. Just, I know it's weird. I know. Right? I'm like, are you doing it by yourself, right? <laughs> okay, all right. No, but I just I really love Christmas, so I really wanted to write something. Of my own. It's nice too. I really that like that Christmas has inspired. Us. I know, right? It's nice. So, who is your favorite? Some of your favorite artists that have inspired you? Oh my gosh, I have so many favorite artists. It's hard to pick just one because um, I really admire what everyone's doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they all work so hard. They're all so talented. Um, I'd say a few of my favorites are. I really love Justin Timberlake. Okay. Um, I really love Selena Quintanilla. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of her. Uh, yeah. She was a singer uh, back in the '90s. Uh, yeah. She was like one of the first people that I started listening to as a kid. So you get to be really young. You get twenty. You listen to. That. Did you know? Did you know what you was listening to? I mean, not really. <laughs> you just like the music. And like half the songs were in Spanish, so I had no idea yeah, what she I'm was saying. But I'm like dancing along. Like I love this. You like to? Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So right. her, Justin Timberlake, Michael Jackson. Um, and then, of course, I like like the Taylor Swifts and Katy Perry's, you know. I'm sorry, you, you let them know you're coming soon. <laughs> Kate, Taylor. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? We have a special gift for you before we let you go. What? Yeah, you know, we have a couple of fans that really, really oh like you. Oh, my gosh. And the company Rowdy, Rowdy Renaissance bought you a nice little gift, and I'm going to give it so for you. so sweet, you guys. Yeah, is that a nice Christmas bag? I love it. It's so it festive. Nice. You want me to open it now? All see right. See what's in here. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, I really love this. We don't even have one of those, do we? <laughs> Seriously, yeah, you guys right. do not have to do this. This is so mm -hmm. sweet. Thank you so much. Nice. And then Old Fashioned Health got you something as well. So one at a time. Oh my. Jacket. Little little stylish jacket here. That is so awesome. Thank now, you guys so, so you're much. Welcome, you're welcome. Now, you're going to have to come back. You know, we talked to you about she's going to come back and cook with the kids when our kids cooking show. Absolutely. She says we'll she can see, cook We'll see my little little cooking skills. Yeah. Not much, but a little bit. No, I think you can, you can sing and dance, you can cook. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, watching Old Fashioned Health. Good health and dying out.
wanna just break down They say you're not a part of their crowd well, who are they to tell you what you're worth?